Hi guys, this is Nomenar. Welcome to today's CF First Arcanacian. Or to be more accurate, to be more accurate, it's probably uh, welcome back to CF First Arcanacian. I know I've been slacking off on making videos. Um, my apologies. But I was really busy. And even today, I only have an hour to go. So, exciting news. Arknights is having a collab with Rainbow Six Siege. Now, I haven't played Rainbow, Rainbow Six at all. I haven't been doing computer games for a long time now. Except, I got, I got into Genshin Impact. But anyways, that's another topic. It is really exciting to see the, um, the trailer for this collab. It was so cool. I think my friends who are who are into Rainbow Six, they are all excited. They roll for the operators on day one. And as a usual usual um, usual habit, let's do that first. Okay, so there is um this special banner, and of course. Uh, so you can get three of them. You can get three collab operators in the banner, but I think there is a special Tachanka, I believe. You can get Tachanka, uh, Tachanka here by by play, yeah, by participating in the event. So let's do the roll first, because that's always exciting. You get a free turn row. You just get it by logging in. That's what we get. Okay, six star. I like that. I like that. Let's see what gives. Oh, one six star, one five star. Good. Ah, three stars. I don't care. Give me the five star. Oh, sorry, six star. Rainbow operator, codename Ash. I have my authorization, and I'm ready for assignment. Good, nice. Wow, I like that voice also. I don't know if you played the game, but I like this game already. Okay. No other five stars. Yeah, we have two five stars. Yeah, let's keep rolling. Why not? Ah, oh, only four stars. I mean, I have rows. I hope. Okay, five stars. Ooh, four five stars. Oh my god, are you guys seeing it? Okay. There has to be a lot of chance. I mean, that's a lot of chance. Operator, code name Blitz. Give the order and I'll bash him in the face with my shield. Good. Rainbow Operator, code name Frost. At your service, sir. Okay, I like all of their voices. Okay, I don't need to go through the rest. Cool. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god, that was a good roll. That was a good roll, I have to say. So, 20 rolls got everyone. Uh, do some chore here. Oh. Okay, I kind of don't care. We'll do that later. Because right now I can't wait. I can't wait to get into the action here. So, oh, come on, come on, come on, be faster. So, uh, where do we start? Here? Okay, we'll start with the story. 
So I believe the overall scheme here is um, the operators from Rainbow Six suddenly got into this new world, which is organized world. Uh, Terra. Okay, that's. I think that's what it is. But anyways. We are in, we're inside whatever this is. Uh, what's your status over? Everything as usual. We should be clean. We should be finishing up soon. Over. Oh, of course not. Era. Actually, don't know her name. I'm just making it up. Okay, they're they're engaging. In position. What's the copy thing? I don't know. Well, there's where. This is where I fall short because I don't play Rainbow Six. Okay, deploying mines. This should be the last wave, according to intelligence. We'll rendezvous after this. Oh. Well, go now? Transmission over? That's it. Leave it to the polish. Okay. I've heard the mines blowing up, they should be fine. But you put your on guard. Okay, put your attention on guard. Yes, ma'am. Okay, watch the um uh, watch the meter because there is some um, nuclear waste in this building. Uh I forgot her name already. Rost, I think. I don't know. How far are we from target? After passing the checkpoint and the storage room, that's the main lab. Um, the drone has shown that mercenaries have built some defenses around the checkpoint. Uh, no cover, no line spot. Uh, the entrance has been blocked. There's a lot of uh, uh, webs or around it. Number nine, and it's been marked on the terminal. And the entrance is completely blocked, so the drone cannot go further. Any other entrances? Nope. Okay, I'll deal with that. Any advice, Lord? Uh, there's some uh, incendiary grenades. How many do you need? Two. Understood. It's the structure is too complicated. Compli complicated. If we, uh, if we use explosion, the debris will be blocking us. My plan is to break the wall from the top and from the right, and one person provides surprising fire. Uh, on top uh, above the above the rope and the rest of them rest of the operators enter from the right and suppression and support is up to you it's you okay roger that and uh okay i kind of don't care to just some some plans for for getting in if there's any questions bring them now okay get ready i'm waiting your signal will start Proceeding to target area. Um, bomb has been set. Bomb has been set. Or charge is set, whatever. Ready? Flash grenade? What? The grenade's out. Okay. Whatever. They're going in, going in. Enemy down. Two o'clock. Grenade out. Ten o'clock. Machine gun. I'll suppress it. Keep pushing. Grenade out. Uh, the structure has been. Destroyed, I guess. Back at down. Three more. Straight ahead. 
two. Clear. 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 Oh, that's that's really fast. Anyone hurt? Alright, let's keep moving. Okay, Frost. Beware of uh Beware of behind us. Roger that. I'll open the door. Oh, whatever this is. On it. What's ahead? There's a lot of ammo. They've been here for a long time. No enemies in sight. There's some just some dark uh crystals in the it does whatever. Any threats? Not clear. What's in those cans? Shiny minerals. I've never seen this before. Minerals, synthetic. If it's glowing, it might be radioactive. Don't worry. The meters is not responding. Then let's path through them. Let's not worry about these rocks for now. Everyone, no time to waste. Move out. Ash, this is what, whatever this is. We just deal with the enemies. But they use a lot of... They block the hallway with a lot of uh, obstacles. We need to use alternative routes. Over. We're preparing to enter the main lab. Please support ASAP. Over. Roger that. Over. So, should we wait? No. There's not enough time. Let's keep moving. That's the door to the main lab. Get ready. We enter from straight ahead. Oh, whoops. Okay, just be on the lookout and everything. And move. There's no one here, just some strange machines. Keep your guard up. These machines are still running, which means the target person is still here. Then we need to get into the lab first. This is the control room. Do you see the machines over there? That's the real lab. There's That's where the experiments really take place. Be careful. It's not clear how many enemies are here. Oh, some unwelcome friends always come on their own. Targets acquired, don't shoot. Report surroundings. No other sight. No other enemies in sight. Hands up, Dr. Levy. Get off the terminal. I was thinking how long will it take for you guys to show up? You took care of my security? That's pity. I just gave them salaries yesterday. But please, be careful. There's a lot of uh, fragile items. Don't move. This show is over. Over? No, my new experiment has just started. Stop what you're doing. I will not warn a second time. Uh, what if I refuse? Hmm? What? So you are fearing an old person, old unarmed person. You are not some unarmed person. You are the top scientist of whatever this lab is called. Levy Crisco. Crichico. Don't get near those equipment. I know what you want to do. Uh, so, now hang him up. Uh, what was it called? Uh, cuff, cuff him up. Roger that. I have to say, you are really fast. Impressively fast. But not fast enough. Wait. He activated the core? Those black stones are glowing. Make it stop. I'm sorry, that's not possible. Make it stop now. Ha <laughs> whatever this is. It will not stop. Just shoot. My entire life is on this project. 
if it's not for those useless folks trying to stop me over and over. I should have finished this 20 years ago. You don't know what you're doing. The equipment in this lab is old as hell. You are creating a nuclear pollution disaster. Of course, what I'm, uh, of course I know what I'm doing. There's a lot of obstacles in the path to science. But exploration is worth it. It's totally worth it to find the truth. Always worth it. I just trying to get what I'm supposed to get 20 years ago. Nobody will stop me. <clears throat> Those mercenaries. Are you alright? Uh, I'm just complaining. Almost got hit there. Should have been able to enter the main lab without operators. It's not late yet. Control room is just ahead. What's that sound? Hmm? Earthquake? No, it's the main lab. Prepare the cop copy machine. I still don't know what this copy machine is. Copy device. They might be in trouble. What's going on? Where are they? This... What's going on? Wait, where's the lab? The map? What's this hole? This lab wouldn't be wrong. It should be the main lab behind this door. The entire lab just disappeared? Oh, so that's how they got into Terra. Did it teleport? Wait, wake up. Ken, are you alright? Ken? Let me do it. Uh, that's fun. fantastic. Oh, just pressing a few. Uh, I don't know how. To, I don't know what it's called. It's alright. Just press a few key spots on the body to activate her consciousness. What just happened? Alexandra, she's awake. Good job. Are you alright, Ken? What's this place? What's going on? That's a good question. After Levy activated the device, the entire lab was hit with a shockwave. And where is this? Where are we? Mm, not sure. The target activated some unknown device, and shockwave pushed all of us out. This is what we see. Right now, no signal, and not contact error and uh, that person. Uh, compass is not working. What I'm sure of is we're definitely not in the target area. Even though this is not a serious, uh, a proven fact, but it's as if we're teleported with the control room. What? She's right. It's like we're just sent to the moon by some a rocket launcher. And that is not a joke. And through the big rift on the wall, they can only see a desert. And the entire room seems to fall from the sky right into the center of it. Huh. Do you need me to recon? No, don't move yet. Rather that. If Levi Koichiko is also here, then he should be in the same situation as us. Restore your energy first. I will plan the, uh, the following operations. Let's talk about the good news. Those supplies with the mercenaries are sent over with us. So, in a short term, we don't need to worry about ammo. Bad news? The bad news is... What's this sound again? Wait, there's something coming close. Approaching, sounds like heavy machinery. But that's too fast. Let me see. I think that's the mobile city, I guess. 
I can't believe my eyes. Dang, we're in big trouble. Prepare to fight. What do you see at all? Have you seen... Oh, okay, so it's not the mobile city. I... Okay, whatever. Have you seen an animal that's as big as a car? I still don't know what that is talking about. What are you talking about? Oh, shoot. Now I see it. Fire. Open fire. Okay, get back. Ah! My shield. The ammo cannot pierce this shell. If this crab cracks open the wall of the control room, we are doomed. Okay, ammo piercing ammo are effective. But it doesn't work to shoot his leg. Then let it in. What? Cease fire. Let it open the wall. Are you alright? Uh, I'm alright. It's just my equipment is broken. Oh my god, that's a big hole. I need to get its shell in return. Ash, tell me your plan. Not the plan, but that's the only choice. So only your ammo can do any damage at all. Probably with my grenades. I have one. So we'll do it once it rips off. Rips up the wall. Maybe this grenade can force it to sh expose its uh, stomach. And then, all yours. If anyone has a better advice, please say it now. Okay, that's it. Get ready. Change mags. It's over. What's this hell? Ah, oh, finally a little breather. Oh. Ooh. Wow, that was close. Is it really Earth? I mean, the Earth that we know about? Well, there's no reason it's not. Well, we need to be prepared for the worst. The wall is completely shattered. This is not even a cover, to be, to be uh, precise. Okay, let's move. Until we can find somewhere we can stay. Okay, that's some good info. Tutorial. Tutorial already? Alright. Ah. Maybe it's trying to teach us how to use the Changa. Oh no, there's some special wind thing. Oh, there's some covers that will be blown up by... Um, I cannot find any place to stay. No time to complain, there's another sandstorm ahead. At least, that's what we're familiar with. Every, every creature here is so big. Oh, they're doing this! Okay, that's why it's hard. Keep a distance. Don't expose under the center storm. Oh, so if you are exposed in the sandstorm, it will reduce your attack and will reduce your HP. If your HP is used up, the next deployment cooldown will increase significantly. Find cover. Be quick. These structures can block the sandstorm. So everything that's behind it should be okay. It seems like these structures cannot hold on for hold off forever. The sandstorm will keep breaking it until they're destroyed. The sandstorms are common common weather, common cl uh, weather. I don't know, bad weather in the Salgon area. Please. Do your best to evade. You can always find these structures to for some cover, but they are never—they are not—they are not sturdy. So 
it will they will collapse gradually. Why do you repeat yourself? Oh, so you can use a certain device to reinforce these structures. Okay, that's new. Oh, where are those devices? Oh, so these. So this is a trap. This is a trap that can uh, stun for 1.2 seconds. This is... Oh, okay. So these will reinforce the structures. Deployed. I don't know how to use him. Guys, you are all up. Yeah. If anyone needs to sneeze, do it now. Okay, what is this? Oh, you can stomp for six seconds, alright. Do you think I have time to use the bomb? Laying out the welcome mat. Huh? Oh, you need to block someone first. I lost doctor. And this is Target okay. Oh, oh, oh! What just happened? I lost doctor. Oh, that's that's a grenade. Okay, I see. Ready to go. Oh, during each deployment, you can only use it twice. Oh my god, I should have saved up. All right, whatever. Okay, we will lose him to sneeze, do it now. very soon, unfortunately. I only use it twice, so I'm not gonna use it now. Let's you save it up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, move faster. If anyone needs to sneeze, do it now. Boom, that's the stun. Oh yes, my Oh, that's a lot of firepower. Oh, oh, like that. Wait, that's about wow. Oh it's alright, because that's sneeze, that's a hole. Do it now. Oh, okay, so the sandstorm will lower the movement speed of enemies. Huh? So she said, try to attract them over there. How? If anyone needs to sneeze, do it now. There's nothing I can do. Wait, they just willingly do that? How how did that happen? If anyone needs to sneeze, do oh, it is now. it because some of is that be, because where he is glowing? Do you think I have time to use the bathroom? Is it because where he's glowing? I don't know. I, I have seen it all. I don't know what that means. All right. All right, now we're on to the real level that looks easy enough level 20 oh my god i can totally do this uh why not let's just do that wow wow it's <laughs> i can't believe this outfit oh that's so nice so I'm back. Is all right? No target in 30 kilometers. I will assume this is clear for now. Good. Let me see the map. Hmm. Direction won't be wrong. Let's keep going north. Then we should see a mountain. What? Lava? Okay, whatever. There's a mountain. We can rest underneath the mountain. And then we can go two days to the west. And we'll get to Fakun. Is that our destination? No, but that's the best intermediate stop. They have some uh, convoys, the business convoys, and we can follow them to the Double River City. 
and that uh, we have some Rose Island uh, offices there. After we reach there, we can get some transportation, then everything else is good, easy. Nice, we can only if we can finally finish this. Ooh, this thing on foot. My shoes are almost flat. It's better to walk outside, so you don't need to worry about losing weight. You. How's the transmission? He reached uh, any terminals? Still no. It seems that before we reach Fakun, it will be hard to get into contact with the with the ship. Unless we can have a bigger transmitter. Oh, don't even think about it. There's no other mobile cities. Yeah, we won't get any supplies until we get to Fakun. That's why I asked. I told you to get enough food and water. In my in, in my memory, there's some small uh, villages around here, but it's been so many years. I can't be sure whether they are whether they're still around. It seems that you are very familiar with this area. Ha ha ha! I might be more familiar when I was young. To be, to tell the truth, I haven't been here for a long time. But that map, did you draw it yourself? Yes. Every one of us will draw our own map. I actually didn't expect that it will still be useful. This area hasn't been changed much by the catastrophe. It's just our good luck. I'm sorry to trouble you again. It's alright. It's my responsibility to take care of the youngsters. For this for this uh accident, I'm also responsible. If we prepare enough we if we have some backup plans, we shouldn't be like this now. Some weird mercenaries just attacked our our uh, storage and uh, accident and just and also stole our vehicle. Who will believe this story? I suspect that the merchant just stole our car and sold it and made up a reason for it. I find it hard, but I actually agree with you. You don't have to say the first part. As a mercenary, I wouldn't I wouldn't have let him go easily like this. But as a Rosanan operator, I hope you don't get your conflicts with the locals. The mass are delivered safely, and that merchant didn't play any games on the on the pace, so we shouldn't ask too much. But walking on the wasteland with a bag of originium, that's a little too dangerous. Their explanation is full of holes, and you cannot expect some local mercenaries in Waivan to tell the truth. Next time I'll be more careful. But if we go back, we need to report some loss of properties. Ah, this is what Waivan's Waivan is. And even without maps and R's, I can still manage to find the direction, but that will cost too much time. We have too many people, water and food won't last that long. You can tell the direction without using tools? How can you do that? I can teach you next time, just experience. How should I put it? Uh, yeah. I have to say that's the something something for you. Hahaha, <laughs> so you youngsters will still tell those old stories. That was an overstatement. So are those real? You captured the seven brothers of the dungeons family in the same day, and you blocked the entire mobs, uh, entire I don't know. Uh, what is it called? Okay, whatever, the thieves of the mountain, whatever, single-handedly. And use one arrow to hit 10 targets. And you shot down a, a bullet in the air. Interesting. That's what those stories have become. 
Oh, we always talk about those stories, and it's sound always like this. Very good for Lanos. You must have heard it before, right? Hmm. In Colombia, there have been a few stories from a mercenary who traveled a lot. It's called uh, something, something, and something, something. Hmm. That's a really a hyperbole. We're not where you think they are. I don't know what kind of stories you heard, but most of those stories are just fake. We're not an organization focused on battles, fighting. Visit to me, it's more like a bunch of survivors who got together. In the beginning, just some normal people, and they try to help others and protect some villages from from bad people. They are not trained warriors. There's some people who fight back. It is on an easy time. They are angry. They refuse to give in. And then more and more join them. And that's how they turn into a larger op uh, operation and start to provide medication and defense for all those settlements. I have heard of this in the Salgon area. Other than official teams. Uh, you guys will also trace the thieves and uh, uh, clear the mercenaries who ravaged the villages. Yes, that's something we've done. And then, at that time, there has been some good people. We definitely captured some bad people. We described has happened, but that was not usual. Most of the time, we just help them fix the well. Defend against monsters, gather medicines, things like that. And also, this area wasn't part of Selgon at all. So you must be one of those good people. Ah, we are. I was not. I'm just a. Um, just a normal, a uh, common. Uh, what's it called? Emissary. Normal. But this all this organization still disbanded. That's a long story. And then lots of things happen. War is over. The kings got their land. Going to do, and for the kings, this kind of organization that refused to give in is not allowed. Of course, there are many other reasons, but those are in the past. I kind of forgot them myself. So those stories actually didn't happen. The truth is usually play, okay? And the only, uh, only overstatements can be dramatic enough to stay. All the stories you've heard of have been processed over and over. And to be fair, if a story is not interesting, then no one will tell it. All right, that's enough for my story. Let's move. Uh, so, according to you, we are inside Salgon. We entered Salgon last night. Please be careful. If you got into trouble, I will not save you. You are so disturbing. The land we are standing on right now belongs to the Bayele. Uh, Bayele, I don't know, King Bayele. But his capital is really far. And then. Wait, stay, don't move. You heard it. Don't move, something's approaching. It's near. It's underneath us. Uh, move, uh, spread out. Branca. Uh, it's, I don't dodge it, whatever. What the hell? It's a mutated creature. That's what it says. An ugly mutated creature. The, wh what is this? This is a sand monster? Like this? One, two, that's too many. Get information, prepare to fight. Oh, I don't know why we want to fight that. 
Oh, we just started fighting. Oh my gosh. I was reading a story for so long. I didn't even, didn't even realize. This is not a normal uh, infecting creature. They want normal uh, normal infected creatures will not um, what's it called? Split into new uh, uh, new individuals. So when you defeat one, it will it will break into others. So be careful. So you, even though these are uh, new, the new new uh, those split up creatures won't count into this uh, this counter. But if they enter your uh, your gate, it will still deduct this HP. So be careful. So what happened here? Doctor, okay, so when it dies, it will split up into two, just like this. Oh, dang. Wait, that's how it works? Oh, because I'm not blocking anymore. Okay, that was... That was surprising. How many can Saga block? I, I never checked. Two. Okay, that's good. So this should work, first of all. Boom. I was told she's not that good as a as a six star operator, but we'll see. So you can do five attacks. Okay, I'll well, just let it charge. You can charge once. Oh, that's the ring, I see. Oh, okay. This is like, um, just like the four star uh, operator who can do this. Oh, the only difference is she doesn't stun. Good. Oh, 
にいます OK that's it So what are they? Last one. Anyone else? Anyone hurt? We're all right. I'm all right too. Transmission device secured. This is a hall. Weird. This monster seems like the sand monsters. Something like this. Two meters. I've been in this wasteland for more than half of my life, but I've never seen a sand monster who can dig. They all have origin. Hmm. Could it be a mutation caused by origin pollution? There's no mobile cities, no factories, no mines. Why would there be origin? Could it be catastrophe? You are underestimated the nature. The animals are way better at predicting the catastrophe than us. They know how to get around it. Catastrophe can break a city, but mm, animals are almost never impacted. I see, I can imagine. Just like the origin of slugs, even though its shells have absorbed all of the origin uh, things, but it's, the inside is very clean. It's clean of origin at all. So, does PERTS have any records of this? No. Even after that leakage incident in Colombia, nothing like this ever happened. The sand monsters are really timid animals. Even with a mutation, this should not, this should not happen at all. This should still not happen. Unless they are under influence of ours, they will never be aggressive. Be on alert. Don't let your guard down. Hearts? Casters? I just hope our journey will not have any more side stories. Don't worry about it too much. Let's follow our original plan. Roger that. This is a distress signal from Rose Island? Other t Rose Island teams? Thank you. Thank you. Finally, someone. Help! Help requesting backup. This is a Rose Island, uh, whatever squad. Uh, answer. This is something, something tower 33. The mobs are, they're getting in. Calm down operator, what's going on? Signal is bad. It's intermittent. Help, help, ah! After some noise, the transmission is cut off. Well, now that's trouble. What is the... The Watchtower 33? It sounds like the safe house. It sounds like a safe house. Safe house? Our mission briefing never said there is a safe house around here. Hmm. Rose and thus put some safe houses in some remote areas for special missions. But we don't know where that uh, Watchtower 33 is. Long Water. Long Spring. Long Spring. This name, I seem to remember something. Let me look at the map. Hmm. Should be around here. If you t go to the east from the Mountain Lava for another 20 kilometers, we should see another. another canyon. <laughs> there used to be a village there. And there is, used to be a well in that village. It's one of the few reliable water source. So that's why it's called the Long Sprint. So what should we do? Change the plan? We can also reach Fikun and try to get in touch with our office and get back up. I don't think the operator can last that long. You go to Fikun and try to get support. I'll go to Long Spring. I'm familiar with this area, and I will be. It'll be more convenient to move on my own. If it's too bad, I will rendezvous with you. Uh, I don't agree. Oh. 
with some mutated animals that came up of the sands, uh, the sand, and distract Sentinel from safe house. It might be too careful to say they are connected, but we need to stay alert. If you don't know what's going on around the Long Spring Village, sending you alone it's even more risky. I was I suggest moving out as a team. And we can help each other. Yeah, right. I will listen to you. I shouldn't be too aggressive as as before. <laughs> Deluchi. But this thing is really ugly. Ugly is subjective. Once you see the symbolic, symbolic meanings of this animal, then you can see all kinds of possibilities in its evolution. Rules are just something that we assert onto the nature. Originally, everything is chaotic. In Russian, of course, I don't understand any someone like you understand this. Your stupid brain will never understand the greatness of evolution. Say something I can understand. Of course, sir. It seems you are not satisfied with the result, whether it's ugly or not. Otherwise, you wouldn't be looking for me like this. Still not strong enough, scholar. Your monster didn't even let the squad leader shed, shed some sweat. Is it not because your stupid mercenaries are too powerless? These mutated creatures are just weapons. If they know strategies, all your mercenaries can go into the trash. Shut up, old guy. I will tear your head down. Stop it. Uh, listen, scholar. The reason I support your research is not to listen to what you say here. You need to solve real problems for me. I admit your research is exceedingly good. But if you cannot help me defeat my father, then you and your monsters are the trash here. My patience is limited. My patience is also limited. I have explained this to you many times. I don't want to waste any more time. You're fooling me. For half a year, I have invested a finite amount into your experience, but I'm not getting something in return. Where is your cruel and fearful, fearsome army that you promised? Where is that chilling power? Not chilling, the the power that sends people, sends chill down the spine that you promised. You just have some glowing, ugly, mutated creatures. To fool me? How can I make you understand? Science needs time. If progression in science can be catalyzed, catalyzed with just money, then I will be flying onto the moon by now. Enough. I have two more days for you. I want to see what I want to see. Stupid. If you dare see anything else that I don't understand, I will throw you onto the wasteland. So you can have fun with your little creatures. You can try that. <sighs> Give me some dead bodies. What? Dead bodies. Human bodies. The bodies of you creatures, anyone. Of course, those with the origin of disease, but even better. What you want to do? Oh, this old man. He wants to do, uh, he wants to deface the dead. Whoa, I thought you won the power, right? Then don't care, don't worry about those ethics. Bring me the corpse. I will. Give you something interesting. Hmm. Sir, this is against the ethics of the 
violate the king. This old guy is trying to set you up. You're gonna give me some undead army? I don't know what that is. But you can give more confidence. You can put more confidence in my research. Sir, I think... Shut up. Old guy, listen. You might think you're smart. You might think you are well planned. You think you know everything. But don't think about playing dirty stuff, tricks to me. I've seen enough of you guys. All of you will die from being smart. My patience is here because I because you are useful. And give you what you want. But don't disappoint me. You don't want to take the consequences of me disappointing at you. Then what else can I say? Good luck. Don't forget who is keeping you alive. Without me, your research is crap. Without me, you would die in this home. Bastard. You two here stay watching. Yes, sir. Bunch of stupid people. Every second talking to you is a murder of my precious brain cells. So Scholar walks deep into the cave. This thing is still running? Okay. They should not be here, of course. A device that doesn't belong in this world is running. Originium. Something as great as this exists? These low stupid locals are afraid of the evolution brought by this power. But oh yeah, they should be afraid. The stupid people are afraid of the future. Stupid people afraid of power. Stupid people afraid of progress. Progress. Stupid, stupid. Okay. Nimu Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of supplies, I have to say. Wow, I can't believe that's already an entire hour. Well, so I guess we'll have to stop here for this video. Again, this is Nomenar. You are seeing CA First, Organize CN. If you want to see more stories, uh, more videos like this, follow up of this entire event, etc. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys later. Bye.